Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Two products came in that I have been looking for lately. The one product being a glass cleaner that is a streak-free glass cleaner, but also one that is safe for coated windshields and glass. I do a lot of window coatings here. I maintain a lot of them. So CarPro Clarify was picked up to take care of that problem. I hate doing windows to begin with. That is no secret here on the channel. Another product, metal polishes. Normally, there's going to be one that cuts, and there's going to be one that brings out uh, a high gloss and a high shine to that metal, whether it be uh, polished aluminum, chrome, or any type of metal, copper. I wanted to find one polish that did both, and this one here rates high on the scale for both. A little bit hard to see here, but... Um, I will show you how that performs, and hopefully both of these live up to my expectations. Let's get started. Let's start with CarPro Clarify. 500 milliliters for around 12 bucks, so the price is right. But when I saw on the label that it is formulated to provide streak-free glass with less effort, I had to have it, I had to give it a shot. This formula here is strong enough to remove oils and dirt from windshield and glass, but is safe and formulated to not damage not only coatings, but sealants. Sealants like, you know, a Griot's Garage glass sealant and some other sealants that aren't quite as uh, stubborn as some of the professional coatings we apply here. Both important not to damage while cleaning, so I picked it up. So here I'm working on a customer's car that has a puppy, as you can see from the nose prints on the inside of the window. And when that builds up, that gets awful streaky trying to remove it. All I had to do is put a couple sprays on a window towel. And as you can see here, I love the Huck towels. Lint-free, and they do a great job. And they last forever. They're durable. So we'll uh, spray one side of the towel. I'll go in there. I hardly ever spray directly onto the glass or the window itself. And I'll clean up, flip it over, or grab a second towel to buff to perfection. So here's something I quick want to show you guys that are just starting out. Uh, a lot of the rookies will forget to open the window or glass first, clean the top of that area that goes up into the seal where it's really hard to reach. Because a customer gets in, the first thing they will do is take their window down a little bit and that dirt will show up. So that's a little area you miss. Take care of it first, then you could put it up, finish the rest of the window, and move on. And we now have a completely clean, squeaky clean and streak-free window. It's a tinted window, so yes, the cleaner is safe on tint. Okay, now I have a coated windshield on the old 53 here. It has the vacuum wipers. They don't work so well, so having it coated helps me see if I get caught out in rain. I don't want to diminish the coating while cleaning it, so I will use the CarPro Clarify that has the perfect balance to clean those, yet let the coating be and not break it down. Uh, even sealants or if you use rain -X. And once again, crystal clear and streak free. And that also leaves the coating clean and also still at full strength to protect the glass or the windshield. Okay, let's turn our sights to the pricey one here. This is the Carb Pro Metallic Cut, 17 ounces for 35 bucks. This one here was formulated to go after the softer metals to help finish them down, yet have enough cut to go after some of the more neglected metals as well. Uh, does boast to have diamond abrasive powders, whatever that means. 
I have given this a chance on finished chrome, polished aluminum, stainless steel. It has done a fantastic job. I would stay away from uh, very soft, highly polished chrome as it may mar a little bit, uh, especially right off the bat after the first pass or two. Uh, but it does a great job on trashed metals that are rusting, pitted, stained from rust. Does a great job on aluminum. Aluminum wheels, fuel tanks on trucks, uh, diamond plate. Does a great job cleaning up the oxidation. From chrome to stainless steel to polished aluminum here, and the valve covers are polished aluminum. This is strong enough to remove the oxidation, yet finish down with the diminishing abrasives to a nice high sheen. Not only can you use it by hand, but fantastic. If you use a machine, you'll get done a lot quicker, especially on diamond plate and some of the larger aluminum panels. Depending on what shape it's in, it could take one pass, it could take many passes. Just make sure your pad stays clean to be effective, wipe off the residue often, load it up again, and get back to work. That will bring us to the final thought segment of the video. Let's talk about Clarify first. I'm very happy with the product. Uh, very little streaking. The only streaking that I had was a little bit in a corner when I was doing window out in direct sunlight with very high temperatures where it just flashed before I could work it off. Other than that, it has the perfect balance of having enough surfactant to clean the window, yet be safe for tints and also uh, window coatings, which I apply a lot of. So the, the Clarify, when it comes to a rating on the channel, will get a very impressive, and I really like it. Let's get to the metallic cut from Car Pro as well. Again, looking for one that can both cut and finish and give that high gloss and sheen to chrome or aluminum, uh, stainless steel. One thing you want to look out for with this guy here, and it's a problem I have with a lot of polishes that try to do both, is if you have a highly um, polished piece of chrome that's near perfect, stay clear of that one and just go for a cleaner because you may abrade it 
make it worse than it already is and have to go over it with a finishing polish for metal. Other than that, this did a fantastic job. The surfactants or whatever they put in to help clean up metals that are really in bad shape. Uh, if you have some chrome that has a lot of rust, this will take care of it. So the rating that gets on the channel is above average. So that will take care of both of these Car Pro products. There isn't very many Car Pro products that I don't like, but there are some out there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.